Good morning. And happy new year. All right. So let's do this again. Take two. Good morning. morning. And happy new year. So I'll ask us to please rise. And we, we come before a God who is worthy of our praise. And so we tell our hearts to praise him. Moyo wangu sifu buwana. Sifu Bwana, siku zote, siku zote. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Imba, 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 imba. Anaweza, anaweza. Tumshangilie, tumshangilie. Kwa shangwe kubwa. Hallelujah, die Bwana, die Bwana. Wa ma Bwana, die Bwana, die Bwana. Wa ma Bwana. Shangilia, ametenda mema Yesu Bwana. Falme wa ajabu ameshinda. Kifona mauti atawale milele amina ashangilia shangilia 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 ametenda mema Yesu bwana falme wa ajabu ameshinda kifona mauti atawale milele amina a Moyo wangu, moyo wangu, sifu bwana, sifu bwana, siku zote, siku zote. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Imba, 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 imba. Anaweza, anaweza. Tumshangilie, tumshangilie. Kwa shangwe kubwa, hallelujah. Die buwana, die buwana. Wama buwana, die buwana, die buwana. Wama buwana. Shangilia, ametenda mema Yesu buwana. Falme wa ajabu ameshinda Kifona mauti atawale Milele amina Shangilia, shangilia, shangilia Shangilia, ametenda mema Yesu buwana Falme wa ajabu ameshinda Kifona mauti atawale Milele amina atawale Milele amina atawale Milele amina atawale Milele amina You know the word shangilia means rejoice and so as we do that chorus just one last time, as we say shangilia, can we lift up like a cheer and a jubilant shout to the Lord? Can we try that? Shangilia, ametenda me maesu bwana, falme wa ajabu ameshinda, kifona mauti atawale. Milele amina ah, Shangilia, 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 shangilia Woo! Ametena mema Yesu buwana Falme wa ajabu ameshinda Kifona mauti atawale Milele amina ah. Amen Amen uh, Blessed be his name he gives and takes away our hearts, we'll still choose to say, 
Blessed be his name. Blessed be your name in a land that is plentiful. Where your streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing, every blessing you pour out. Turn back to praise When the darkness closes in, Lord Still I will say Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your glorious name Blessed be the name. Blessed be your name. When the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road mapped with suffering, though there's pain in the offering. Blessed be your name. Every blessing, every blessing you pour out, I turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your glorious blessed blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your name blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be your glorious name you give and take away you give and take away Give and take away My heart will choose to say Lord, blessed be your name You give and take away You give and take away My heart will choose to say Lord, blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Indeed, God, you give and you take away. And we put our trust in you because you are our shepherd. And in you we shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. Kwanjia zahaki 
Nipita kubonde ni mwama Uti sita ogo pawewe Unami hakika, hakika We mana zofadhili Sita nifu wata mimi Nitaka nyumba ni mwabwa ana Siku zote za maisha Hakika, hakika We mana zofadhili Zita nifu wata mimi Nitaka, nitaka Yumbani mwabwa Maisha ya Gongo lako Gongo lako Na fimbo yako Vita ni Fariji mimi Wanda Meza mbele ya Angu Macho nipa Wate Hakika, hakika, we mana zofadhili Zita nifu wata mimi Nitaka nyumba ni mwabwa Siku zote za maisha ya Hakika, hakika, we mana zofadhili Zita nifu wata mimi Nitaka nyumba ni mwabwa Siku zote za maisha yangu Nitaka, nitaka yumba ni mwabwa ana Siku zote za maisha yangu Amen. You can take your seats. Well, good morning and happy new year again, church. Sisters and brothers in Christ, one of the best ways to start the new year together as we continue to usher in this new year is to celebrate the Lord's Supper. We know a lot of you were away last week. Welcome back, by the way. So we wanted to wait uh, in this month where we have five Sundays to do Holy Communion on the second Sunday of the month. And so as we come to the Lord's table this morning, it's good to remember in this new year that we do so corporately with millions, if not billions, around the world who take up this commandment of Jesus as part of their worship. So just know as we come into this today, we're going to be listening to the Apostles' Creed. Because as we come to a new year, it's also good to remember that we are part of this historic, ancient, global, universal church. And kids, listen to this especially for you. For 1,800 years, can you imagine 1,800 years, 18 centuries, the three great streams of the Christian church, Protestant, Catholic, and Orthodox have been saying the Apostles' Creed together. And so today, as we come to the Lord's table, as we continue to usher in this new year, we're going to listen to the Apostles' Creed. Today, we don't have it on your song sheet. It's already crowded. It's like two or three or four pages. Um, this time, I'm going to have you listen to it, and then at the end, I'll invite you to affirm this ancient statement of our faith together by saying amen, and I'll prompt you for that. But for now, kids, teens, all ages, listen to this 1,800-year-old affirmation of our faith. And because we just finished a series 
on the Trinity, our triune God who is three in one. Notice how this ancient creed affirms that. This is the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the grave. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. And all God's people who affirm this statement, say, Amen. Well, now on your song sheet, you have a prayer of confession that I invite you to join with me in before we come to the Lord's table where we remember why we have that forgiveness of sins that the Apostles' Creed affirms. We want to come before Him individually with our hearts. And kids, you can join in this as well by looking on that song sheet with your parent or guardian. So let's Say this prayer of confession together. Holy and merciful God, you have given us a new year full of promise and grace, and yet already we have sinned against you. Instead of helping to prepare your way, we have too often gone our own way. Instead of sharing, we have hoarded. Instead of being content with your gifts, we have complained. Instead of resisting the evil one and trusting in your word, We have given in and sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Our only hope is in Jesus, who perfectly resisted temptation and trusted in his heavenly Father. Because of his self-sacrificial love, we have hope. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. For Christ's sake, amen. Now, church, receive these words of pardon. And I think some of you, perhaps this morning, especially need to hear this. That your God is not some cosmic policeman who you have somehow just paid off with a verbal bribe and now you're free. No, this is your savior and the lover of your soul who is not against you because of your sin, but is with you against your sin. Amen? And so receive his forgiveness this morning. Amen. Now, for those who are visiting LVC, if you're still new, we understand that communion, the Lord's Supper, is for those who have acknowledged Jesus as their Lord and Savior and are able to examine their hearts before taking the bread and the cup. And so, parents, if you have observed this in your children, We leave the choice of the timing of communion up to you. In this new year, I'll remind you again that you are their primary parents. But let's all take some time now to look at our hearts, to examine them before we partake, to just silently, individually, if you want to sing along with the song, you're welcome to do so. But let's come before the Lord and prepare our hearts to come to his table. Amen. Lord, we remember you And remembrance leads us to worship And as we worship you Our worship leads to communion We respond to your invitation We remember you Lord, we remember you And remembrance leads us to worship Hey.
nation, we remember you. Lord, we remember you and remembrance leads us to worship and as we worship you our worship leads to communion we respond to your invitation we respond we respond to your invitation we respond we respond to your invitation we remember you hey we'll go ahead and take your little communion cup and tear off that top layer of plastic revealing the wafer and as you do so understand that the apostle paul passed along what he received from the lord jesus himself that on the night that he was betrayed our lord jesus took bread and after he had given thanks he broke it and he said this is my body which is for you do this in remembrance of me. So let's take the bread together. Amen. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's take the cup together. He said, whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The gifts of God, LVC, for the people of God. Amen. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, third person of the Trinity, we invite you to come right now and minister to us, to seal in our hearts what we've just done, this ancient, ancient, 2,000-year-old ritual that is so full of meaning because, Lord Jesus, you instituted it. And so Lord, seal in our hearts by the Spirit what we've done right now. Lord, if any here who did not partake because of not being in the right place, or perhaps they don't know you, Lord, would you draw them to fully submit to you as their Lord and Savior, and to come in confidence that you love to forgive sins, and you love to transform sinners like me. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good morning again, LVC. Happy New Year. I hope many of you uh, are enjoying these few days. Uh, it's been a quiet few days here in Nairobi. It's always such a lovely time. For those of you who traveled, I trust that you got refreshed, that you had a good time of rest. And so we just want to welcome you into this new year. And particularly today, if you're a first-time visitor, in fact, if you've been here one, two, or three times, can you raise your hand just so we can see who you are? We won't embarrass you, but you just want to see who you are. Okay, look around, everybody. All right, yeah, a bunch of people today. All right, keep your hands up. Everyone around them, see who they are, and it's your job to greet them. Uh, when we take a quick break, and I say turn to your neighbor, meet someone new, you got to greet them, and then afterwards, uh, just invite them to a cup of tea or just get to know who they are. See if they have any questions about the church. So we want them to make sure they feel welcome. Um, I was going to say, because I've said before, you know, you could even invite them to have a, a pizza. However, that's no longer an option at Amani Gardens. In fact, some of you may have seen, passed around on WhatsApp or seen a signpost here at the, the, uh, the building that Amani Gardens has actually closed down as the guest house. 
Uh, it actually is very sad because it's been here for like 75 years. Uh, but now, finally, it is changing. And as I've told you before, hopefully you've heard this, uh, but if you didn't, I hope you didn't get scared if you saw the news about Amani Gardens closing down. Well, obviously, we're still here. It's open, and we're going to be joining in with a few organizations who are going to have a co-working space here. So the entire hospitality thing is going away, uh, but there's a really great social enterprise that's faith-based uh, that's going to be the anchor tenant. And then as a church, we're coming in as one of the, the sub-tenants, so to speak, and we get to be here for a, a long time. Uh, it's at least three years locked in, but perhaps even five years. So we're really excited about it. We've had an office here for about four years. Uh, and then post-COVID, so to speak, we've been here under these tents. Now, we do want to tell you again, like we did last week, that there's going to be a transition period where we just ask you to bear with us and to have patience for what's going to come. So for the foreseeable next few weeks or months, we're going to be here in, in this same setup. But along with the other organizations, there's going to be quite a bit of construction and renovation going on in this space. And Lord willing, we're going to be putting up a big tent over there that'll be an enclosed tent, Lord willing, especially for those cold months. It'll be nice and weatherproof. Uh, where we have carols by candlelight, it'll be going back there. Then there'll be all kinds of renovations and planning about where children and youth, uh, children's church classes will go, okay? So just know more information will be coming. We do want to let you know that there probably will be a few weeks coming up at some point in the next quarter where we will need to not meet here for a couple weeks and go meet somewhere else. I'm pretty sure it won't be in Yayo Stadium, but we will tell you where it will be, and that will just be very temporary. We'll feel like some nomads wandering around, but then, Lord willing, we'll be back here in our nice new tent, okay? If you have any questions, let us know, but just know that information will be forthcoming. So we really do need you to be alert and to be checking all of the emails and the WhatsApp messages that you get from the church so that you don't turn up here on a certain Sunday and you'll be by yourself, okay? Uh, at this time, I'd invite the ushers to pass around the offering basket, uh, the bags, as we give to the Lord our offerings toward the mission of this local church. And so as they do so, I'll invite Pastor Isabella to come forward to give a highlight. Thank you. Good morning, LVC, and Happy New Year. Just a brief highlight about Kids Church. During this trans transition, parents, please bear with us. We have some good news for parents of babies. So this year, we are starting a nursery for zero to one year olds. Yay! So every week, we will share with you the location. Things will be changing a lot. We apologize, um, but for today, the nursery will be in the conference room right behind this tent for zero to one year olds. And then we have baby Bible for one to three year olds, which will meet, um, you'll follow me. Baby Bible parents, just follow me to the area where you'll meet. And it's possible for you to leave your child if they can stay, they can stay in the baby Bible class. We have some extra assistants who will help with that. So we hope you get to plug into the service and listen to the sermon. And we hope you're blessed. Uh, youth, you will remain behind and let's pray for the children. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of these children. And as they go to their classes to sit under the teaching of your word, I pray that they would come to faith in Christ Jesus. I pray that you would uh, plant seeds of salvation in their hearts. I pray for their teachers as well, that you would minister to them, even as you minister through them to our children. And I pray that you all have a lot of fun today. In Jesus' name, amen. Kids, you're free to go to class. And as they do that, turn around and say hi to someone, especially the visitors today. Welcome them. So even as we rise, um, 
I'd like to point out that the nature of today's service is an all prayer and worship. So I'll call us to please rise and we're going to get into more singing interspersed with prayer, prayer items or prayer, sec prayer sessions. All right. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. And age to age he stands, and age to age he stands, and time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God had three in one. Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Sing how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. The name above all names. Name above all names. Worthy of all praise. My heart will see how great is our God. He's the name above all names. He's the name above. Sing how great, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. You may have your seats. And this time we will have scripture reading from Aden. After which we will get into a silent prayer. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Aiden and I'm reading the scripture for Psalm 8, verse 1, chapter. One to nine. Lord, our Lord, 
How majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the, in the heavens. Through the praise of the children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which are set in place, what is mankind you have mind, you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them, you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds, and the animals of the wild, and, and birds in the sky, and fish in the sea that swim in the past of the, in the parts of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. All right, um, usher us into a time of silent prayer guided by the national anthem. So even as we silently just listen to the words, uh, we can be prayerful about it. O oh God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. Let one and all arise with hearts both strong and true. Service be our honest endeavor in our homeland of Kenya, heritage of splendor, firm may we stand to defend. Let all with one accord in common bond united build this our nation together and the glory of Kenya, the fruit of our labor, fill every heart with thanksgiving in Jesus name now even as we uh, rise to sing this song how great thou art I invite us just one or two or three people just mention one thing about God about the character of God you could say awesome you could say mighty or holy uh, sorry I have taken those already <laughs> so as we rise feel free to just mention God is blank whatever that word is as we get into a time of adoring God, even through this song, how great is our God? What's that one word that comes to your mind? Our God is? Just. Just loving. Kind. kind powerful. Merciful. merciful. Sovereign. Faithful. faithful. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our God is great. So let's sing How Great Thou Art. Consider all the works thy hand hath made. I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Went through the woods, went through the woods, and forest glades thy wonder. And hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountains grander, and hear the brook 
and feel the gentle breeze then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art and when i think and when I think that God is Son not sparing, sent Him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross my burden gladly bearing, He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how great thou art then sings my soul then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Amen. And this we proclaim in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. You may, have us, you may have your seats as we hear our next scripture reading from Psalm 51. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm Bill, and I'm going to read the scripture from Psalms 51, from verses 1 to 17. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in, the, in that sacred place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I'll be clean. Wash me and I'll be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast, steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, so that sinners will turn back to you. 
Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O oh God. You are God, my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I will bring it. You do not take pleasure in our burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, and a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise the word of the Lord. Amen. And let me call us to a time of just silent one-minute reflection, even as we confess before God our sin. You are God who is rich in mercy and abounding in love. You who tells us in your word that we, if we confess our sin, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You who is full of great compassion, we pray that you blot out our transgression. We pray that you wash away our iniquity. For we know our transgressions and we know that our sins are always before us. We have sinned against you and you only. O oh Lord, your verdict in judging us will be right and just. We pray that God, you will have mercy on us. Even as we reflect on the various ways, Lord, that we have sinned against you, in the ways that we have contributed to corruption in our nation, or in ways that we have been silent Oh Lord, we pray that you have mercy on us in ways that, Lord, we have not been loving to our family members, to our spouses, to our children. We pray that you forgive us for the many ways, Lord, that we have not raised or we have failed in some ways to raise our children in, manner, in a manner that is pleasing before you. We pray that you forgive us for the ways that, Lord, as children, we have been disobedient to parents. Have mercy on us and forgive us. O oh Lord, for the many ways that as a church we may not have sought your face as we ought to in prayer and in fellowship, Lord, we pray that you forgive us. For the many ways that, Lord, we have failed in our service to you, Lord, have mercy on us and forgive us. Lord, there is no sin that is too big for you. And so we come before you, broken before you, because what you desire from us is a is a broken spirit that you do not despise. So we pray that you put in us the humility to always turn to you, to receive mercy in our greatest need. Dear God, we pray that you purify our hearts, make, make us clean, let it be as gold and as precious silver. Purify our hearts and cleanse us from within, deep within. May your refining fire, Lord, cleanse us. May we lay ourselves bare before you. Even though you, you already know our sins before we confess them, may we come to you openly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so you're free to either rise or remain seated as we sing this song, Purify My Heart. Purify my heart, let me be as gold 
and precious silver purify my heart let it be as gold pure gold refine as fire choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, I'm ready to do your will. Purify my heart. Purify my heart. Cleanse me from within and make me holy. Purify my heart. Cleanse me from my sin. Deep within, refine as fire. one desire is to be holy set apart for you Lord I choose to be holy set apart for you my master, I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready, I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready to do your will. Fine as fine. My heart's one desire is to be holy, set apart for you, Lord. I choose to be holy, set apart for you, my master, I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready to do your will. I'm ready to do your will. When you call me, I'll answer, Lord, I'm ready. I'm ready to do your will. Hear the cry of our hearts, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all say, Amen. Amen. And now we'll have our next reading from Psalm 136. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised, and we will praise him and give thanks using Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. To him who alone does great wonders. His love endures, endures forever. forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. Who made the great lights. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. The sun to govern the day. His, His love endures, endures forever. forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. His, His love, love endures, endures forever. forever. And brought Israel out from among them. 
his love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, his love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it, his love endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, his love endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, his love endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, his love endures forever. And killed mighty kings, his love endures forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, his love endures forever. And Og, king of Bashan, his love endures forever. And gave their land as an inheritance, his love endures forever. An inheritance to his servant Israel, his love endures forever. He remembered us in our low estate, his love endures forever. And freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. He gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, his love endures forever. Amen. That is our God. So even as we come before him in thanksgiving, I want to invite us again to even just from where you are, just shout out, I thank you, God, for blank. Now, it could be, I thank you, God, for breakfast I had this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, in one short sentence, let's feel free to just shout, uh, lift your voice and just say, I thank you, God, for insert whatever that is you're thankful for. And then we'll carry on. Family. Family. Amen. Life. Life. Love. Good health. Strength. Come again. Strength. Strength. Salvation. Salvation. His presence. His presence. Protection. Renewal. Renewal. His peace. Amen. Two more. Food. <laughs> His goodness. Provision. All right, let's go before God in prayer. Our gracious God, giver of life and love of our souls. We thank you. You who brought us into this community of believers, we are grateful. You have granted us this place for our gathering that we have prayed so much for. Oh God, your love endures forever. We thank you for your sustenance and protection throughout 2022 and for crossing us over into 2023. Lord, for the gift of marriages and family, we are grateful for the gift of work and all that our hands labor to do, we are thankful. Lord, you who kept us in good health and healed us, healed many of us that were sick among us, we thank you. To you who did not spare your own son, but graciously gave him up for us all, who along with him also graciously gives us all things, Lord, we thank you. And by grace, you, who saved us and brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Lord, we thank you. And you who in your sovereignty will one day give us perfect rest when you call us home. We thank you. We thank you, O King of kings and Lord of lords. Your mercies and your forever. And this we pray in Jesus' name and we all say, Amen. Amen. So join in singing this song in Swahili. Nasema Asante, which means I say thank you. It's simple to follow along. Nasema Asante Kwa Mungu Wangu Nasema Asante Kwa Wema Wako Kwa Mana Fadili Zako zadumu milele na milele aminas. One more time to nasema sante kwa mungu wangu 
nase masante kwa wema wako kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina nitaimba nitaimba sifa zako mbele ya watu wote nitaimba sifa zako mbele ya watu wote kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina nasema asante nasema asante kwa Mungu wangu nasema asante kwa wema wako kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina nitaimba nitaimba sifa zako mbele ya watu wote nitaimba sifa zako mbele ya watu wote kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina kwa maana kwa maana fadhili zako za dumu milele na milele amina milele milele na milele amina milele milele na milele amina we give you thanks oh lord in jesus name we pray amen, amen. So I want to invite us to our next scripture reading Psalm 119 from Obi Hello ah. Psalm 119:169 to 176 May my cry come before you Lord give me understanding according to your word May my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. May my lips overflow with praise, for you teach me your decrees. May my tongue sing of your word, for all your commands are righteous. May your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Let me live that I may praise you, and may your law sustain me. I have strayed like a lost sheep. seek your servant for i have not forgotten your commands quanta amen um let me call us to rise and at this time even as we bring our supplication requests before god i reckon that a time might come when certain things might weigh heavily on some of our hearts and so feel free um where applicable to even put a hand of encouragement on someone's shoulder as we pray together we are applicable <laughs> right um and so let us pray our gracious god giver of life and lover of our souls watch over us and keep us safe each of us both the young and the elderly adult youth and child grant us the grace to hunger and thirst for you as we sit constantly under the teaching of your word be it adult teaching youth teaching sunday school teaching and baby bible grant us wisdom and understanding that we may live and walk in a manner worthy of the righteous call lord we come to you on behalf of those ailing those ailing from home and in hospitals those in need of medic med medical attention and those recovering from treatment you lord are rafa our healer and there is no disease that is beyond your healing and power 
you who fashioned every cell, every joint, every ligament, every bone, and every strand of hair on our bodies. May it please you to grant us healing. Oh Lord, we come before you to commit those that trust you for jobs, spouses, fruit of the womb, and even for the weary. Lord, you say in your heart that those who wait upon you, you will renew their strength. May you renew their strength even as they wait on you. And you who is Jaira, you have proven that you are forever enough, always enough, more than enough. I pray that, Lord, above all else, that you give us yourself. More of Jesus would we know. More of your grace to others show. More of your saving fullness see. More of your love who died for us. So that none of our longings, hopes, desires, and ambitions surpass our need for you. Above all else, give us yourself. We offer unto you this day and all of our tomorrows. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So even as we remain standing, I don't know what's weighing heavily on your heart. What is that one thing that you've been trusting God for? Our God is enough. Our God is faithful. And maybe it's, it's even strange and uncomfortable to say that God is faithful because of how long you have waited. May I encourage you that he, withhold, he withholds no good thing from us. Mm -hmm. That God who is faithful and just will act according to the counsel of his will and will never forsake the righteous. So as we silently just even come before God, I'd like us to finish with this song, I Need Thee Every Hour. Because above all else, what is our greatest need? God himself. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee every hour. I need me now my savior i come to thee i need thee every hour stay thou nearby temptations lose their power when thou I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee, I need thee every hour. In joy or pain, come quickly and abide, or life is vain. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee I need thee every hour Most holy one Oh, make me thine indeed 
seed, thou blessed Son. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Oh, bless. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come to Thee. Amen. Victor and Marcy, thank you for leading us today in what we call an all-worship and prayer service. At LVC, we're going to continue to do this a couple times a year, just to take special time at the beginning of the year or at the end to just spend time in musical worship and a concentrated time in prayer. And I hope you were blessed. I hope you were encouraged. I hope the Holy Spirit moved in your heart. And before we give the benediction, if there's anyone here who would love prayer for something, maybe it's just to think about the year ahead and you'd love someone to pray with you. Or maybe in these first eight days, you've already faced some tough things and you just love someone to pray about anything in your life. Our prayer team will be in that corner over there and they would love to pray with you or pray with any of us who've been up here this morning. We'd love to talk and pray with you. Visitors, we'd love to meet you. So please do stick around. Let us know if you have any questions about the church. There will be the welcome table right back here where I'm pointing beyond the tent over here. And you can uh, ask whatever questions you have there of the welcome team. We'd also ask you to not leave your song sheets laying around, but put them in a rubbish bin um, or take them home. Now, we are uh, finishing a bit early today, and so we ask parents to not rush over to pick up your child because it will interrupt what the teachers are trying to do as they finish. But hey, take this opportunity to stick around. Sadly, the Imani Gardens Mondazis are going away, which is so sad because they're some of the best in Nairobi. But I understand that today there's something even better. So let that entice you to come for tea and coffee, meet someone new, greet a visitor, uh, and then share some fellowship. But for now, as we close... close this service, receive this benediction. And maybe just as a symbol of receiving this from the Lord, open your hands in front of you and hear the word of the Lord. Now to him, and I'm going to add a little phrase here. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more in 2023 than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace, church. We hope to see you next week. Happy New Year once again. God bless you. Shemo